oh my god, I was literally my pants. Literally. Hi sunshine, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be having Subway. So I got a 6 inch turkey. It's got lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, pickles, green peppers um, with oil and vinegar. And then I also have these sweet potato fries. Um, they're this brand here. They're Terra. It's a little, little torn, but it's Terra. Terra real vegetable chips, sweet potato, sea salt. You guys, I'm not a sweet potato gal. I don't love sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes taste like cold dirt to me. It doesn't matter how you cook them, how long you cook them, how you prep them, what you put them with. They taste like cold dirt. <laughs> and these, so when I, when we got these, I was like, I don't think so. But they're actually really, really good. I really like them. They don't, they're good. Yeah. If you, even, I would say like, oh, if you like sweet potatoes, you like these. But even if you don't like sweet potatoes, you'll probably like these. They're really good. Mmm. So I just have a little a small clump of them here as my little snacky. I mean, they're not like super great for you, but they're better than some other chips. So I figured I'd have that with my sandwich today. And of course I have my little sunshine mug, sunshine state of mind, because I literally love this mug, you guys. I'm still obsessed with it. Love it just as much as I did the first time I bought it, <laughs> which I told you guys about a couple videos ago. I'm so dramatic about this mug, but seriously. Anyways, so today, I know in my last video I talked about um, some like paranormal experiences that I've had in this house. Um, so today I thought it'd be fun to talk about some paranormal experiences that I've had at a family friend's house, like a family member's house. Um, all you guys said in that video, like, I'm not the only person to experience anything here. Almost every single person who's been to this house has experienced something, so I truly, truly believe this place was like up there for me and like spooky definitely haunted places um I was never like a disbeliever you know I've always like believed in like spirits and ghosts and everything but I think like this family member's house and the experiences that I had there like totally like confirmed my feelings for it like I would never go back now and say that they don't exist or that it's not a thing because there's just no way <laughs> so i just want to give like a couple smaller stories just like of stuff that's like kind of spooky so they're in one area of their house by their bathroom it's like you know like when you just have like a really eerie feeling it's like how i was telling you about my creepy corner i call it the creepy corner here in this house near their bathroom and like their bedroom like that corner of the house was so like dark and it always felt so like angry and sad I don't even know how like the room just had that type of feeling you know what I mean and like just like being in like the shower or the bathroom it always felt like something was like there something was like staring at you or watching you and you could like almost feel the presence it felt like it was like hovering over you and it just felt like really angry and like mean. So I hated like going. I didn't, half the time I didn't even want to go to the bathroom, literally. <laughs> uh, yeah. It just felt like a really like mean, dark entity there. Um, so that would just always like creep me out. And of course like, you know, the share to feel like there's always noises or you hear like footsteps or voices in another room when you're somewhere else, you know what I mean? Um, and there were times like you'd be like in one room, like upstairs. So they have a main level and an upstairs. Upstairs is where they have a couple bedrooms and then they have like a, like a main living area. And, you know, like you'd be in one bedroom and then like the radio in the other room would turn on and then you get up, turn it off, come back and it would turn back on. And like, sometimes you'd be like either sitting like on a couch or laying on the bed or something. And I would feel it almost felt like someone was like sitting next to you or they like laid down it's so bizarre because I mean I was younger 
I haven't been to this family member's house in a long time, but I was younger. And so sometimes we would have like sleepovers, um, you know, or if like my parents were like hanging out with them all night, you know, we didn't feel like driving back home, we would just stay the night. Um, but sometimes like even I alone would have sleepovers there because I love to like hang out with that part of my family and stay up and watch movies and play games and you know, whatever. Um, so like there were a lot of nights like that where, you know, it just like, it felt like someone like sat down next to me or like laid down next to me and like I was so <laughs> freaked out yet my heart would be like racing and of course I wouldn't look you know what I mean like I'm not gonna like turn and look it's like even if I couldn't see anything there like what if you did like what if you saw something hmm I've been talking so much I haven't even like touched my sandwich okay so yeah I told you guys I got turkey it's on the wheat bread the whole wheat i got turkey lettuce spinach cucumbers green peppers pickles i got a little bit of jalapeno but not too much i didn't want it too spicy and then oil and vinegar no cheese the thing is like i feel like it's unnecessary calories to get cheese for me personally because like i can't taste it i feel like every time i've gotten a subway sandwich that has cheese on it i can't even taste the cheese so like why would i waste the calories on something that i can't taste like i don't know Mm hmm Yeah. Lots of greens. Mm. Ooh, she's a little spicy. A little spicy. Mm. But it's good. I love the thing that Subway is doing now too. Like, they're new protein bowls. Y'all, it's a salad with meat on it. I mean, you know, like, call it what it is, you know? A protein bowl? Really? <laughs> They've had salads. I worked there years ago, like over six years ago, and they had salads, you know? It just like made me laugh when I saw the like protein bowl. Mm -mm. I don't know you guys but yeah anyways so <laughs> that was always like creepy for me to like feel the presence of somebody or like something like being so close to you you know and like in one of the bedrooms they used to have the computer there so this is the same room that I had slept in a couple times and felt like the presence of somebody like being right next to me and this family member played pogo. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what pogo is. I don't even know if it's still a thing. But it's like, an on, it's like a, you can sign up for it online. And you just play a bunch of games. You know, they have like bingo. They have a million games, you know what I mean? So I used to always sign in under her account and play like a bunch of games. It was fun. I think there was like a, like a hair salon one that I really loved. But yeah, so I would do that. And I just, I remember like playing, and I play in the dark, of course because why not you know um <laughs> the room would be like pitch black and I would just have the light of the screen I'd be playing and it was always I'd constantly be like looking over my shoulder or checking around me because it just felt like something was there like just like on you you know what I mean and I was always like but I loved going there you know what I mean I had so much fun there and like I wasn't like scared per se I was definitely like I don't know it just like made my like heart pump and I felt like adrenaline rushing you know what I mean but I wasn't like scared um unless except for when I was down like near their like bedroom um bathroom area I was like scared down there I didn't like it um which I'll talk to you guys later about actually so this one time I told you about that and like this one time it was still the same like the music going on back and forth with that bedroom the other bedroom and I remember this one time this time like, this is the only time I've ever physically... Oh, actually, no, I'm going to save that for last. I didn't physically see, like, a ghost or an apparition or any... Like, I didn't see that this time. I'll talk about that next. But this one time, I was sitting... They moved the computer from the bedroom out to the main living area on the second floor. So, it used to be in the bedroom on the second floor. They brought it to the living room on the second floor. And I was sitting at the computer and there was a rocking chair like next to me or one of those like recliner chairs the big recliner chairs 
because you know they have like the sofas and the recliner chairs facing the tv i'm like looking this way playing my little game and this chair next to me starts rocking like back and forth y'all let me tell you something i felt my heart it, it went from my chest all the way down to my butt seriously i was like oh my god i was like freaking out okay and <laughs> i remember it was like just rocking and I remember, I was like, oh, like, can you please stop? I'm scared. And it stopped. And the chair stopped moving. Y'all, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. And I'm not joking. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Rocking. Oh, I'm scared. Can you please stop? Stops. Mm-hmm. That was really freaky to me. Okay. Done. I don't know, you guys. And there's, like, a lot of stories about this place, too. Like, so many people I know have experienced things. Like, seeing things or hearing things. Or, like, like one time someone, like, I can't remember who it was. But apparently there was, like, a group of them. And they were downstairs or whatever. And there was, like, a really loud, like, pounding on the door. So they were, like, okay. And they, like, opened the door. Nothing. They're like, okay, shut the door. Pounding, pounding, pounding. Open the door, shut. And it, that went on a few times. And, like, that's bizarre. It's just bizarre stuff, you know what I mean? Like, how do you explain that kind of stuff? You know what I mean? This is actually really good. I'm happy. I could not decide what I wanted. And then I was trying to like be healthier, you know, and try to pick like a healthier option. So mm. mm -mm -mm. I mean, I guess it is like kind of plain, but it's good. You guys, it was so hard for me to not get mayonnaise. Like, I get mayonnaise every time. Every time. On every sandwich, I swear. <laughs> Minus, like, meatball, obviously. But, I get mayonnaise all the time. I always get extra mayo. So, it was really hard for me to not do it. Because I know how bad it is for you. It's just all fat, you know? But, I did it. It was hard, but I did it. <laughs> mm. So yeah, so this one time I was laying, okay, I'm trying to like give you a picture of the scene so you can see what I'm talking about. Say, so I'm laying on a couch, okay? There's a couch here and the TV is in front of me. They have a big massive TV. That massive TV can see like past the room behind me you know what I mean and it can see like down the stairs that lead to the bottom the, the bottom level with the creepy bathroom and all that so you know obviously that big tv you can see like the top of the stairs obviously you can't see down the stairs obviously but you can see the top of the stairs and you can see like the computer behind me and whatever you know what I mean so I could see in the reflection of the tv I could see behind me because the tv was off I didn't have the tv on I was laying there so I'm laying on the couch and I'm like restless, you know, blah, blah. I like hear, I keep hearing things, who do who. And I like, I turn and I like just happen to like look at the TV. In the reflection of the TV, I see literal like body, like people going back and forth in between those two bedrooms that I told you about. The one that used to have the computer in it where I used to lay sometimes and you could feel like a presence. And then the other bedroom that always had the radio that kept turning on. You'd have to keep turning it off. Literal people, like, back, going back and forth. And I think it was more than one. It might have been two. But it was, like, going back and forth in between the rooms. Like, sometimes they'd, like, stay in here for a little bit. And then they'd, like, go over here for a little bit. And then sometimes they'd crop. You guys, I've never in my life, never to this day, have I ever physically seen anything with my own eyeballs. 
I saw that with my own eyeballs. Not delusional, not going crazy, wasn't like hallucinating, sleeping. I was like pretty awake because I couldn't fall asleep. You know what I mean? I was really restless. And the thing is too, is that like, I was definitely more like alert, I feel like, because obviously throughout the day we were like doing stuff and hanging out. So I was kind of distracted. So obviously when it was time to go to bed, like that's all that I could think about, you know, I was more like, just like aware that like, Hey, this place is like haunted. So <laughs> I remember I was like, Oh my God. I was literally my pants. Literally. So I, I didn't even know what to do. I didn't do anything. You know what I mean? I was too like paranoid to like say anything or move or anything. So I literally just tried so hard to just like close my eyes and fall asleep. And eventually I did. But I'm telling you guys, that was like, it was just freaky. You know what I mean? And it was just like so bizarre to like see something with your own eyes. Like literally you like hear stuff and you're like, you know, I can't sleep. Look at the TV, black TV, cause it's off. And you see in the reflection, people just like walking back and forth in between the rooms. You can like hear noises like in the rooms, you know what I mean? And these, and, and it's not like it was them, you know what I mean? It wasn't family, you know what I mean? Like they were sleeping and these, the statures of these people weren't like my family members. And they would have said something, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? They wouldn't have just like silently walked back and forth and like rustled around a little bit and made noise and stuff. It wasn't, I know that it wasn't my family, you know? You, I just know. It looked nothing like them. It, it was so bizarre, you guys. And to this day, I've never seen anything like it. I never saw, physically saw anything there. Um, like, other than that point. Like, physically saw, like, a, an apparition or anything. That's the only time I've ever seen anything there. But. This family member ended up having these, like ghost hunters come to her house like they physically came to her house and like investigate and everything and there's like pictures and videos and clips and everything it's so bizarre and let's rewind to that like creepy little little area there okay mm -mm. so apparently a lot of people have felt that like negative mean angry like energy there so my family member who actually lives in that house she had said that like one time she like woke up from her sleep and there was this like really big like massive dark angry looking like dude okay but he was like really big okay like tall um he was just like hovering over here and he looked like angry it was like like a demon okay and this is i know i know y'all are gonna be like y'all are crazy I'm clicking off this video, unsubscribing because you're a Looney Tune. I know how it sounds, but I'm telling you, she experienced that and she was so scared. And I really do think that there was like a really nasty, negative, mean energy in that, that place. And the ghost hunters had like um, images and everything. And they even said that, yeah, there's like definitely some like funky, mean, negative energy here. And I'm pretty sure... They're the ones who like got rid of it because I don't believe that they've experienced anything negative since then. Um, and I, I've been there since then, but not too many times and I haven't felt anything like it's still kind of like a little eerie, but I think it's just because I like was so like terrified of that part of the house for like the longest time. Like I was like genuinely like freaked out, you know, you just always felt like someone was like on top of you almost like in your face you know but you couldn't see them it was very like suffocating in there oh I hated it I'm telling you I know it sounds crazy I know but you'd have to like see it to believe it I'm telling you it was it's insane Um, because of her house specifically, I'll never not believe that there are ghosts and spirits around. I'll never not believe it. Because I've seen it with my own eyes. There are too many, like, instances that are just, they're just not explainable. You know what I mean? Like, those people in there were not my imagination. They weren't real family. Like, my alive living family walking between those rooms there were 
radios don't just like i mean that radio is not just gonna turn on and off not even off just turn like on by itself you know what i mean because it didn't do it all the time it would only do it like if you're like pretty much if it was like late at night or if you're like sleeping you know it was only like certain times and i just don't think that that's a coincidence you know or like literally feeling like when you're sleeping there and feeling the presence of someone like sitting on the bed next to you like the pressure of the bed like going down because someone's sitting on it or like someone laid down next to you and then like literally sitting and playing at the computer and having that chair start rocking next to me and then when I say oh I'm scared can you please stop it stops I just there's just too many things that I just feel like you can't explain and I mean if you don't believe it you don't have to you know to each their own I totally get it but I do and the things that I have experienced, you could just never convince me otherwise, you know. But yeah, like, apparently since then, and they kind of like, I'm, I'm pretty sure they got rid of like the bad spirit, like got it out of the house or whatever. Um, so I don't think they've had any like, like bad or like negative, um, you know, anything going on, like no bad vibes or anything. Um, but yeah, that place like. It generally used to, like, freak me out. Only, like, like I said, with the the weird entity and then, like, actually seeing that stuff, I was freaked out. <laughs> like, in general, I was pretty, like, chill, calm, cool. Because there was always, like, people there. You know, we're awake, we're watching movies, we're eating food, playing video games, you know. So it's, like, busy. So I feel like I was distracted and I wasn't thinking about that. But when it got like quiet and nobody was awake and it was just you, that house was really loud. Uh huh. I do believe the history of the house was looked up, and I'm pretty sure people who had um, lived in the house prior had like died there, maybe. Or I, I believe they died there. So maybe, like, their spirits were still there and they hadn't, like, crossed over. I mean, everyone believes their own thing, you know what I mean? I don't know. There was definitely spirits there, something there, ghosts there. So I'm with my own eyeballs. Too many things that you just... Just can't explain. I'm telling you. I'm also telling you that these chips are real good. If you've never had these, please consider going out and getting them. I really like them a lot. And I hate sweet potatoes. Let me tell you. Let me remind you. They taste like cold dirt. And these are good. Okay, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for me. Um, I really hope that you guys don't think I'm like crazy and you guys decide to like unsubscribe or something. I promise. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It was some insane, insane that went down there. I'm telling you. I mean, maybe that's maybe that doesn't sound crazy. Maybe people are like, okay, cool beans. But like at the time, I was like pretty young. Not like a baby, but I was young. And that's so freak. And like, could you imagine? I don't know. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> share this video with your friends if you feel like it and if you're not currently subscribed please consider hitting the subscription button along with the notification bell so you can be notified anytime i post an upload um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in my next video bye